Yo! Today we are checking out Santa Cruz again. We are at Henry Cow State Park. And this morning we took a short trip to 11th Hour Coffee House and got a salted caramel latte and also a cherry bourbon scone. Uh, the 11th hour coffee, it was our second time there and our first time was great and our second time was also great. They have a lot of seating in the coffee shop and it's a very comfortable and cozy experience along with the coffee and the pastries being very good and delicious. So now we are at Henry Cow State Park once again and the Redwood Grove Trail is actually closed because it has been raining for about a whole month in California. This is the first sunny day in California in basically a month. And so there was so much rain that the Redwood Grove is still not safe enough to hike on. So it's currently closed. So now we're just gonna be walking around and checking out what we can see at the state park. Despite the Redwood Grove trail being closed, we are very much enjoying our experience here because the air here is very fresh and crisp after the rain and there's a lot of mist and just a great atmosphere here right now. So we would say that uh, the Henry Cow State Park is pretty nice to visit despite the Red Grove uh, Redwood Grove trail being closed. We were preparing to be disappointed since the main trail here is closed but right now the beautiful water and the beautiful scenery and the beautiful freshness of the park is breathtaking so we are very glad that we came here right after the big rainstorms and we are very much enjoying our time here so far. We're constantly surrounded by the sound of running water. We're seeing a lot of mist and little raindrops falling from the trees above. Water that was stuck on the trees but is now blowing off on this sunny day. We're so excited to see all this water because as you know there's been a pretty severe drought in California and every time we go to one of these state parks in California it's always so dry and we always feel like we're missing out on the little creeks and streams and now as we're walking through the Henry Cow State Park and we get to hear and we get to see all this water it really makes us happy and the air here is very moist and crisp and fresh it's really hard to describe how um, how much of a kind of like a healthy spiritual experience this is for us so hopefully you kind of get our gist when we're so excited about uh, being here right now well it turns out that we can get on the redwood grove trail by secretly entering from one of the side entrances so we were able to get on the trail and there are other people on the trail and it seems pretty safe so it's not like something is dangerous and that's why they're closing the trail so we are walking on the trail and enjoying it with the low amount of people here we would tell you that we recommend going to the Henry Cow State Park after it's raining a lot but I think that this is a pretty rare day uh, to have so much rain within one month and then have it be a sunny day right after the rain so we're very lucky to be here right now we did encounter some downed trees on the trail but overall it's uh, pretty much like normal there's no real huge obstacles to navigate on the trail so we're probably thinking that they're closing down the trail just to make it nice and beautiful before they let people in so we're uh, gonna continue and see if we can see any river nearby 
We are visiting the park on a Tuesday on January 17th. So pretty much everybody is at school or work already. So the park itself is very vacant. And yeah, the whole experience of walking the park by ourselves basically is contributing to our enjoyment of the park. So, you know, I mean, on the weekends, it's probably a lot more crowded. And uh, I think people are avoiding the Santa Cruz area right now because of all the rain and all the mudslides and all the downed trees. So we're kind of glad that we went here today. So that's all for our short trip in the Henry Cowell State Park. We hung out by the river for a little bit and now we're going to head back to our car and go get some Korean food at Omogari in San Jose. So now we are back in San Jose. We ate lunch at one of our favorite restaurants in San Jose, which is Omogari Korean restaurant. We get, uh, every time we go there, we pretty much get the same thing, which is the uh, beef rib eye bibimbap and also the dumpling soup. This time we kind of switched it up a little bit and got the spicy beef dumpling soup instead of the regular beef, a uh, regular dumpling soup. So. Uh, we ate some of the banchan, which is a whole bunch of little appetizer dishes that Korean restaurants give you. And the banchan this time was a little bit on the salty side, but the food, when it came out, the beef bibimbap and the spicy beef and dumpling soup, they were both not salty and they were both very good. So we are very satisfied with the restaurant again this time so we would highly recommend uh, going there during lunch because it's very empty normally and it's comfortable uh, the food comes out quickly and the bill comes out to be around $25 a person or so so it's pretty affordable for a meal that will get you full and so that concludes our short day hanging out in Santa Cruz and the Henry Cowell State Park and also going back to San Jose and having a little bit of a lunch. So hope you enjoyed our little adventure today. See you next time.